I'm standing in front of Central Police Station where the Barefoot Bundle is currently being held. Uh, of course, the whole world knows now that he was captured in the Bahamas even though the FBI could not capture the Barefoot Bandit. He was taken to court. He was charged with one offense. Yes, one offense. And that is the offense of, of illegally landing in the Bahamas. And of course, <laughs> he was uh, there was a potential for him to be charged with many, many offenses, including several house breakings, shop breakings, about nine in total, uh, two or three um, um, incidents where he stole um, um, vessels, um, um, boats, speed boats, to get away. But of course, he was charged with none of that. He got a slap on the wrist um, and a fine of $300. And of course, many, many uh, locals here are feeling very angry about it. They feel that that um, um, someone who commits that many crimes should not get a slap in the wrist um, like that. And if it had been a local who had been um, charged with all of those things, that they, the book would have been thrown at them. But of course, he was fined $300. Um, we're told that the U.S. Embassy is saying that they are going to pay the $300 fine and he is going to be deported. And what that does is that saves everybody from an extradition um, um, trial. That saves him from an extradition trial. We could have drawn on. And now all they're going to do is deport him. Well, you be the judge. Is that a slap on the wrist? Is it fair for someone to, to come into a country, wreak all that havoc, and be fined for one charge, a slap on the wrist? This is Lincoln Bain reporting for Como 4 News.